Boom, boom, Mrs. Kenra, welcome back to the channel. All right, so we got a little bit uh, uh, League of Angels here, Paradise Land. Um, this is a, a final review on this uh, this game. I've been playing it for uh, for about two weeks now. Um, just wanted to get a feel for for the way it uh, handled its uh, handled itself and termination. The graphics of it's a much improved graphically from the, the cartoony type aspect that that it previously had. Um, the graphics are much better. They they have a pretty good um, seven day. Um, uh, new, you know, when you create your you know, character for the first time, you uh, you, they seven days, and you get you get a couple of characters, um, S rank characters, which are uh, S rank is not the highest in this game here. Um, uh, they have A characters, then they have S characters, um, and then they have S plus, and then they have S S, um, which is which is the final tier um, of characters. So, but uh, they give you enough to, within the seven days, uh, they, they generally give you uh, enough um, to, you know, almost put out a full S, S rank team uh, just from uh, what they give you in the trial period. Um, also, each time you do make summons, you, um, every, every 17 summons, um, you get a... Uh, S plus or an S grade hero, um, so you know they give it to you that way, um, and you could do a ten pool. A ten pool runs about twenty six eighty. Uh, that'll give you ten. So I'd have to do a ten pool and then do seven. You know, seven other summons. Um, you get one free daily. Um, And then it goes down to 16, you know. Um, so it it uh, they 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 enable you to get to heroes. Um, the the big ones are the SS heroes, and you do actually get um, um, uh, some shards for some of the max max characters when you do the grand summons. Um, but you have to be uh, level 65 or VIP um, 11 to actually do those summons. So there's a little bit of a blockage there. But um, it's it seems to be an interesting game. As you can see, it's got a lot of stuff to do. Um, it's definitely a game that you won't be bored on. Um, they're they're very generous with their uh, giving of crystals and diamonds and things as such that can be used for various things um, if you like that type uh, of format. Um, it's you know it's free to play. Um, I don't see any reason. Um, I mean it's not it's not a game that you uh, that you need to drop it a, a lot of money into if you want to play. Um, uh, I know there's a lot of videos on it out there about people you know getting the SS characters. Um, one of the things that makes makes the game interesting and, and also at the same same time makes it a little bit more difficult is the fact that you need to. Let me get into the formations here and show you what uh, show you what um, what what makes this game a little bit different and at the same time makes it a little bit uh, more complicated to play um, in terms of making a team. So when you as you go to, they've got uh, a formation set up, and you have to have these types of defenders in your team to get to get auras applied um, you know you need to have uh, attackers a defense aura, supporters and a control aura. you have to have one of each to get all their buffs um, and, and to get all the the auras that make it go I um, I was able to get uh, get a pretty good team set up um, without much trouble the key would be of course getting those getting this type of team set up in SS form and if you look at the formation helper over here it tells you what the advanced formation is so the advanced formation is a full team of SS's with one S plus in, in terms of Draconia so this here is what you're looking for for in game um, and these are SS characters so you know it's going to take a while to get um, this is an advanced um, High Priestess you get from playing the game, I think you get her on the second day. Um, 
you get a shard that you can choose a uh, you get it at the seventh day you get a chest and in that chest there's three characters you can choose from um, one is Earthshaker right here another one is um, is uh, one of the characters I got which is the one that I chose um, I think it's cyber what's her what's she called cyber core that's who I chose so um, and you say so you get an S plus character in that one um, so this is just base high priestess you get her like I said I think on the second or third day um, uh, I got uh, Eldro which is another S plus I've got him as well too um, uh, when drawing from the, the you know on the 17th draw you get an S or an S plus I got uh, El Rodel. he's one of the best um, uh, control controllers in the game um, and then these other two I just got uh, I, her I just got a lucky got lucky got a lucky pool on her and him right here um, was another one of those pools after 16 days so so that you 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 you're gonna get characters um, getting the SS's another matter entirely a lot more difficult um, you're gonna have to draw you're gonna have to make draws from the um, from the uh, grand summon to get those and um, you know it's so but you know I, I think it's doable uh, a lot of people you know but it's, it's a lot of it's depending on you know if you want to they've got value packs and whatnot in here that you can purchase um, that uh, yeah, so you can get SP to get chests, you know, to draw your characters and things like that. So, you know, it's pretty good. Um, it's a good game. Uh, it's not uh, not really the type of type of game that I normally um, that I normally play because I like the I like long term games. Um, these games sort of wear me out pretty fast, and it just uh, takes on a. Um, it's a little bit. Uh, shall we say, uh, boring after a certain period of time. So uh, even though there's a whole bunch to do, it's, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, pop and pop. Standard, uh, standard um, you know, uh, standard type of mobile game to keep you occupied. But uh, so that's it. So, um, yeah, I do, you know, it's free to play. Um, and I think I think you can you can have a pretty good team and do have a pretty good chance and do pretty good to go in the game. Um, and uh, but you know the options there if you want to purchase uh, purchase to make it uh, definitely. But I don't think it's I don't think it, I don't think you can consider it to pay to be to pay to win. Um, I think it's actually I think it's uh, creating a team that you know competitive team. I mean yeah you know if you want to get to the you know max max character levels yeah you're going to have to dump some money in to get to that stuff. Um, but uh, you know if you just want to play and beat the game, um, you shouldn't have any trouble with the, the base characters that they, that they give you. Uh, you know, you beat it, play onto it, you know, play it if you like it. And, uh, you know, if you beat it, then, then you move on to another game. Or if you want to continue to try to build your characters to make, you know, to make it competitive, that's definitely something you can go for. But uh, they definitely give you, they definitely give you a good, uh, a good setup to get started out with. So, so that's it. So, uh, yeah, it's not a bad game. Um, if it's, if this is the type of games you like to play, it's, uh, it's definitely free to play. And uh, I think you can do good without having to uh, uh, shell out a large sum of money to get uh, uh, to get a competitive team. So, so that's my review. Okay. So if you like the video, you can put a like uh, put a like on it if you like it. And if you want to get notified every time I drop a video, um, just hit the subscribe button and you get notified. And this is Ken Rear signing out.